Lucas. I'm the owner of KL Bookkeeping Services. I have been in business for seven years now. Um, I have my husband, Brian. We've been married for over 15 years now. I have three boys, Derek, Devin, and Tyson. Derek's 13 and Devin and Tyson are twins that are nine. We have lived here for the last 14 years. And I am originally from Thorndale, so I was away for eight years in the middle, but uh, we're happy to be back here. So I'm a little bit more than your average bookkeeper. I originally had my HBA from the Ivy School of Business at Western. I worked for 18 years as a financial controller after that. However, the owner of the business that I worked for passed away and the business was having difficulties. So as it wound down, I needed to do something else different. But at the same time, one of my sons started having seizures and I didn't know what was going on with him. So I decided at that point in my life, it was more important for me to be at home. And I decided that I would do something that I could work from home. So that's when I decided to do bookkeeping. So because I worked as a financial controller for 18 years and I was the one that was going through the numbers and the financials and assessing where the company was at, I'm pretty particular when I'm doing the bookkeeping and know what I'm looking for when I'm going through somebody's books. So I think it gives me a little bit of an advantage being a bookkeeper that knows what I'm doing financially and looking at the statements and that sort of thing. And that's some of my small business clients appreciate that extra help that they get. Uh, so I offer a full range of bookkeeping services for small businesses. I have several small businesses that I help out on a regular basis, whether it be weekly, monthly, some quarterly, and some are annual. I also do personal tax returns and some small corporate tax returns as well. I can do as much or as little as you need to have your accounting done for your business and to keep everything on track so you know where you are and what you're doing and you can focus on what you do best for your business while I help you with your finances. Alright, so for my business, what I'm most proud of is the fact that I am now very busy with my business. I have been able to build my business to a point where I am busy every day and never a dull moment around here, especially during tax season. I'm now super, super busy when it's coming for the mar month of March and April. Taxes are very busy. And I'm also proud of the fact that most of the business that I have has been word of mouth. So that means a lot to me that my clients are happy enough with me to recommend me to others. And that's how I've become so busy in a short seven years from other people being happy with the service I provide. I've been in business for seven years. I started in June of 2010 and at that time it was a bit of a shock because I didn't have any clients at all when I made the decision to start this business but in seven years I've been very successful at obtaining lots of clients. I started my business in Thorndale because this is where I live and I wanted to work from home and I thought if I could help the businesses in this area with their bookkeeping that all the better that it's a win-win for both of us. I Love Thorndale is doing wonderful work for this community. I'm originally from Thorndale, so I'm pretty biased on this community to start with. I do really love Thorndale. I grew up here, I was raised here. I moved to London for eight years, 
And when my husband and I wanted to start a family, we decided that this is where we wanted to be. We wanted to come back and be in Thorndale. And I'm happy that my children are in this community where I grew up because everybody's such a close-knit community. Everybody looks after one another and I think it's far better to be part of something like that. So I Love Thorndale is doing great things as our community is growing to try to keep that small community feel and get events and things like this to help the businesses in the community. So I think it's important to support them so that we can keep that small community.